Okay, quick update here on our SAS model. I'm adding some metrics that are very confusing to most people, but I'm going to model them out. So we have, you know, within our SAS model, we have subscribers, we have new MMR or MRR, which is your added monthly recurring revenue, and you have your costs. So to calculate your cost of a new customer, it's different than your CPA cost per acquisition. It's the cost that you paid related to the amount of new subscribers you actually got not the cost to acquire you know anything else so we have hundred seventy eight dollars here what does that mean it's taking your sales marketing divided by your total added subs so you paid this much in sales and marketing and you added this many people hundred seventy eight dollars a person you can see how that fluctuates over time and it seems to be getting lower than higher. That's all going to depend on what your cost assumptions are. Then, even further, we have our CSE payback, which is in months. So this says, based on the monthly recurring revenue that you added, how long will it take that monthly recurring revenue that you added this month to pay back the total cost that it that was incurred to get that and so you gotta multiply your um, new MRR divided by your gross margin which is one minus the cost of sales of that year on average so that's what I use for that you see the margin start at 40 and then go up to um, 90 that's all based on assumptions driven over here on the left so this says well it's gonna take you 22 months to pay back the cost to acquire those new that new monthly recurring revenue based on your gross profit of that revenue and you see over time this changes it drops significantly once um, subscriber growth starts to grow or go higher and it's cheaper to get new customers or you know your your customers you're adding outpace the cost that you're adding and this eventually gets over to well 6.7 months which is good you obviously want your customer payback period usually to be below a year so we go over to our five year I don't need that there um, go over to our visualization we have our customer acquisition cost by dollar over time and our customer acquisition cost months to pay back that customer acquisition cost let me relabel that. Wants to pay back CAC. And you can see that's obviously getting lower, and that's good. You want the amount of months it takes to recover that to go down over time. Now all the all the, everything is going to be based on how you end up changing your assumptions to fit what you think is going to happen. But the logic here works for you, and you can see how that changes over time. I'm also going to add a valuation here. Um, on the annual, so we got just kind of cash flow, and real simple. We'll put our assumptions here. So discount rate, uh, how do I want to do that? Right, let's do discount rate. 10% uh, okay so I'm doing blue text for editables so you just take your EBITDA divided by 1 plus this Raise to the year here. I got that. So there's your just kind of cash flow. Oops, lock B. And then, um, Let me 
do uh, valuation. Now, here's a general thing. If your margin are margins are 70 percent here we're at 90 here we're at 40 if your SAS model is at 70 percent gross margins you can generally do a five-year annual recurring revenue as your valuation so if we did there that model we would do annual recurring revenue this times multiple of five and actually so you can pick and you know obviously you can use the revenue from actually we could just use each year and roll that over so here we end up getting to a value of four million with our multiple of five and let's also go net present value Just trying to put all this right below the financials. The future cash flow is 199,000. So you can see how these things can change and are very different. Um, there's also enterprise value. You take, you know. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. So enterprise. Let's take um, that present value. Let's do our ten percent discount rate. One second. Stand by. Okay, still working through here. So. Um, we got discount rate, our net present value of the discounted cash flows here. And then we have our discounted terminal value, which is just our terminal years EBITDA times the multiple of five, which we're using across the board, raised to five. So we got that there. And then finally to get our to get our enterprise value. You go sum of that. 973,000. So there you have it. And then here's just, this is just like different valuations. If you just do a multiple of the EBITDA and make that multiple five. So it's just like a little helper there. So now we have a very nice um, set of added metrics to the SAS model to show your customers how long you're taking to pay them back, how long you're taking to, or how much it takes to acquire them. And then you're also seeing some financials, um, just kind of cash flow analysis. Which is nice. And that's all added into the full model. I think I only charge 20 or $30 for this model if you want it from smarthelping.com it's under the SAS uh, it's under the business models and I just thought this this was definitely important to get um, that in the CAC 
with the visuals added. Alright, have a great day. I'm off.